Hey, one winner that maintained its momentum this week was General Electric, now GE Aerospace. After the Vernova spinoff, Renee Young's got the latest for us. Sounds like they're pretty confident in their situation and their financials, Renita. Absolutely. They expect to have free cash flow of about $5 billion in 2024. But today, shares are rising because GE Aerospace has declared their first quarterly dividend. And it's a big one. It's up about 200 and 50 percent it's yeah it's a 28 cents per share payout that'll be paid out on april 15th to shareholders and this is of course the first one since the spinoff from ge vernova earlier this week and as, as I said, it's a payout on April 15th, but that's not all. The company wants to eventually return about 75% of its free cash flow to shareholders through dividends and also through share repurchases. And how does that break that down? Uh, GE Aerospace expects to generate, as I said, five more than $5 billion in 2024 free cash flow. And that'll mean it'll have about $3.7 billion to distribute. They also have big goals for this spinoff. They want to improve and expand its commercial jet and defense franchises first and shares they're up man they're up about you know more than eight more than more than 100 percent over the past 12 months and also relating to the 28 cents per share payout uh, the company will pay out about 300 million dollars this time around maybe it'll get even bigger because they expect to be able to grow this um, quarterly dividend as well and you said 250 percent their mm -hmm. old dividend was eight cents yeah I mean, <laughs> it's a huge confidence huge boost to investors that this was the right move financially uh, people have loved this stock for a while. I have to correct myself because earlier this week I was looking at the chart and I said a few times, like, what's up with the GE chart? It was a think or swim thing. The, the chart wasn't reflecting the spinoff. Okay. So the chart's still great. And we're breaking out now another 6% today. This is one of the most underappreciated winners of mm -hmm. the year. Absolutely. And we can Gee. expect to see analysts make some changes maybe early next week because of this. And you know that this is now one of three because last year we saw GE Healthcare spin off and then it's GE Vernova that spun off earlier this week. And the last one that's alone now is, of course, GE Aerospace, where the company decided that it would make its main place. Yeah. So, yeah, we're seeing the effects of that, and it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right, uh, we'll be watching for the analyst stuff. I think that's a pretty reasonable point because uh, it still feels like it's undercovered. Mm. Uh, thank you, Renita. All right, for the latest big jump in the dividend there.